My name is Matthew Carano. I'm the curator of Dinosauria at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. One of the things my research focuses on is the evolutionary history of predatory dinosaurs. Like most paleontologists, when I conduct my research, I really have three main things that I do. Uh, the first is I go out and do field work. I discover new fossils and I bring them back to the museum. The second thing is I study museum collections. I do research on things that have already been discovered. And then the third thing is I spend a lot of time in the library. It's very important to know what other researchers are doing and have done and to bring that knowledge together while you're studying your own fossils and make new hypotheses and, and new conclusions. The bigger picture of my research really encompasses the entire history of dinosaurs. I'm interested in everything that happened from the origin of dinosaurs to their extinction. And to do that, I also need to understand the fossil record of dinosaurs. What do we have? What is missing? How do we fill in the gaps of that record? And so we can understand the entire story better than just by looking through the museum collections we already have. I remember in second grade um, reading the National Geographic Book of Dinosaurs. And I remember the moment I saw it, and it was just this incredibly inspiring thing to me, seeing these animals portrayed, they were alive in the book, and uh, realizing they were real, and that these were fossils you could go and look at and, and study. I grew up near a museum, the Peabody Museum in uh, Connecticut, and so I could see real dinosaurs just down the street, and it all kind of came together for me really early, and I just had that interest my whole life. So when I went to college, I studied geology and biology, and I just got more and more interested in it. And so I decided to go to graduate school, and that's where I really got to learn how to be a paleontologist properly. I've had the good fortune to travel to South America, to Chile, and to Africa, to Madagascar and Zimbabwe, and hunt for dinosaurs. And in each of those cases, I've been able to make really exciting discoveries. And when you're the person who gets to uncover the fossil for the first time, uh, it's just an amazing moment to know that you're the first human being ever to lay eyes on that fossil in the history of the Earth. And that really is always an incredible moment. There are a lot of lessons that paleontology can provide for real-world problems today. For example, paleontologists study climate change in the past. We learn about what happens when climate changes, what happens to animals and plants, how fast does it change, how different is the world afterward. We can look to the past see what happened, and maybe take some lessons from that and look forward to the future for our own survival and our own planning. 